Shelton Brookbank. What complaints do you have about living with him? He snores at night sometimes. You <laughs> said that you snore uncontrollably loud, but yet you wear earplugs. Is that true? I started wearing earplugs because, uh, you know, he doesn't like snoring, but he doesn't realize that he snores too, so it's kind of, uh, you know, we both have our issues, I guess, but uh, it seems to work out. Gets had a lot to say about you. Um, what complaints do you have about living with him? Well, I mean, I'll tell you what, I've never got into uh, the bathroom before him. As soon as he walks in the door, that's the first place he goes. He guaranteed will say that I get the toilet. As soon as we get into the room, I get to go in the bathroom first. Okay. Who controls the TV in the room? Definitely me. Do you, what, do, what do you watch? Anything embarrassing that people uh, shouldn't you know, know about? Nothing too bad. Uh, you know, he did walk in one time. I think I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which I'm not proud to say. But uh, usually like King of Queens and stuff like that. Uh, Bill controlled the, the remote all the time. I, I don't like having the remote in my hand. Bill is Sheldon, by the way. What did he watch? Anything funny? Um, a little bit embarrassing? Um, Bill liked to watch reality shows. Did he ever try to pull pranks on you? Or was it wise um, enough to not do that? No, Bill didn't do We had a nice little arrangement, me and Bill. We didn't, uh, didn't allow any. He did let guys come in my room one night after a night out, which was a strict rule against ours. We were not allowed to let George Peros in our room after a night out because he always does something dumb in your room. So. You know, he doesn't dare touch me because he knows I would dumb him in a second. All right, what's the weirdest thing that uh, Getz has done since you've lived with him? Any, any weird habits or anything like that? He does have a few, but I'm not sure how far I want to go with this right now. He wears earplugs in bed every day when he's the one that snores. <laughs> Who takes longer in the morning to get ready, you or him? Oh, we're both pretty quick. Okay. It's just a race to the bathroom all the time. Um, probably Getz. Yeah, he's, uh, although he does get up, he likes to get up, but I... Uh, it's kind of like a big bear when he gets moving, you know, it takes him a little while to get the engine running. Now, does he ever cater to you? Um, you know what, he'll, uh, he'll bring me a treat from time to time. I like to think that uh, I give him some stuff, I get, you know, some candy or something from up in Canada, so I'll bring that for him, but uh, we have a good relationship in there, I guess. So. He tucks me in some nights, but, uh, you know, most of the time we're on our own. That's uh, pretty sweet of uh, We take care of each other good. Uh, what advice can you give him for future roommate situations? Um, try not to snore. His is, he falls asleep on his back all the time watching TV. He'll put TV on and it could be 12.30 at night. He'll be watching TV and he'll be out cold, but it could be two in the afternoon too and he still falls asleep on his back. His future roommates? Yeah. Um, I would say just keep your mouth shut and uh, you know, just, just listen and uh, don't be hurt. And last question, why do you think the coaches had your room with guests? I couldn't tell you, maybe because uh, they wanted me to keep an eye on him. He's, uh, you know, I'm five years older than him, so maybe they wanted me to uh, put him under my wing, take him under my wing or something like that. Because <laughs> he could keep control of me, I think, <laughs> keep an eye on me. He's our, he's our elder in our group.